Today we're going to look at something called narcissistic numbers. Now the name comes from the Greek legend of Narcissus, a young Greek man who fell in love with his own reflection. Just like Narcissus, a narcissistic number seems to be self-obsessed. So first, the formal definition. A number is known as a narcissistic number if you can take all of its digits, raise each of them to the power of how many digits there are in your original number, then add these answers together and get back to the original number. So this will be a lot easier to understand if we look at an example. Let's take 153. If we take those three digits, one, five, and three. Now there are three digits in 153, so we're going to cube each of them, which gives us one, 125, and 27. If we add them together, we get 153, back where we started. This makes it a narcissistic number. Let's try another one, so 407. Again, there are three digits, so we're gonna take each of them and cube them. So four cubed is 64, zero cubed is zero, seven cubed is 343. Add them together, we're back where we started. Another narcissistic number. Let's have a go at a bigger number now. So this time there are four digits in 9,474. So we're gonna raise each of them to the power of four. So there we go. 9 to the power of 4 is 6,561, 4 to the power of 4 is 256, 7 to the power of 4 is 2,401, and then another 256 at the end. If we add all them together, we're back where we started. So 9,474 is also a narcissistic number. Now in total, there are only 88 narcissistic numbers. The biggest one, is here, this is a 39 digit number. Again, if you were to take each of those digits, raise them to the power of 39 and add them together, you would get back to that number. And the smallest narcissistic number is obviously zero because zero to the power of one, it's one digit, is zero. Now there are some other interesting numbers that are quite similar to narcissistic numbers. So for example, Dudeney numbers. These are ones where if you take all the digits, add them together and cube them, you get back to where you started, such as in these examples here. You can have a Munchausen number. Now the, it's only one of these that exists. These are where you take each digit and raise it to the power of that digit. So the first three in 3,435, you raise to the power of three, the four you raise to the power of four, and so on. This is the only number that meets that criteria. Or you can have something called an ascending power number. This is where you take each of the digits and raise it by an ascending power. So 135, is the same as one to the power of one, add three squared, add five cubed. Yeah. 2,646,798 is also an ascending power number because if you take each of those digits, raise it to a power that's getting one bigger each time, add them all together, you get back to where you started. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.